Meghan Markle here. So now we are into the Sussexes. I left politics behind. I don't know if at the end I'm going to have some politics then. All right. It's coming. There's that here. This is a William uh, parody account on Twitter. Okay. It's coming. Will and Kate divorce talks. I mean, this is not a surprise to the squad. We sort of not. All right. And then I, I, I just can't wait to see if I'm right. The reasons that they'll be creating for the divorce. Okay, that's all I'm waiting. Okay, Prince William's affair scandal explodes. Oh my God, it's an open secret in London. Royal family sues to stop the story. Did Kate turn a blind eye? A palace source, a shocking tell all. Oh my goodness. When was that? Why are they talking about Bob Saget? Okay, he died. What? How many years now? Okay, so honest now then. There's that. Forget selling book. What is that? Is that a commercial? Okay, whatever that is. Okay, are you getting your pennies ready for the divorce settlement? <laughs> That's uh, commercial. The story about Celine is pure bull. So I'm, I'm taking the Will and Kate story with a bit of doubt. I'll believe it when I see it. They lie on people before, so why will I believe them now? Okay, Kate may hold on to what's left to her marriage. For dear life but it is william who holds all the power in that relationship ask camilla she knows about these things the royal family blues yeah the thing is that if she had shown self-respect okay to show her worth maybe i don't know william was uh, raised to know that he's the he's the only thing that matters in this world so whatever okay that's this here uh, we all know the bigots aren't getting divorced. Okay, I don't think so. King Charles III fought the wrong way. Then bam, uh, he's gone and egg and bone become king and queen. She is very, <laughs> she is very close. I did say she's so close, but yet so far only one can down to go. Meaning Charles, you know, once it's Charles died that she'll be there. So I doubted those two had too much to lose. Nah, William has nothing to lose. William has nothing to lose. He's already, uh, he already knows that his position to be the next king. Who has more to lose? It's Kate. That's all. It's Kate. What is it her parents just sold? If that is true, I don't know. I share it on one of my videos. I came across it on Twitter. Uh, her parents sold the, uh, how do you call this? The business and all of that. So they don't have money. So if they divorce how things gonna be i don't know next tweet there's this here how the wanted prince harry to treat princess megan versus how he ended treating her big up prince harry there's that oh my god that's the thing with the umbrella again mm -mm -mm. i mean when you think about it when you have no feeling for uh, someone you really don't consider i don't know just think about something you want to discard you have an object i'm not talking about you man you have something you don't wanna you don't want no more you either toss it or give it to someone else or something but there's no feeling no connection behind it so that's that with them but i believe what's her name uh, kate probably does love uh william i don't know if it's for the position or anything like that but whatever so there's that here the difference here sharing the umbrella it's raining you share the umbrella you know if there's only one umbrella okay have you had to remind Willie his festive glance mm -mm -mm. there he is just grab the thing and go there's no feeling there <laughs> I'm looking at these two guys look at their faces him with a smirk and him was like yep share the umbrella 
Okay, I knew he was taking after his father when he wanna wear a wedding ring. Neither first marriage was for love. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you nailed it. Willie doesn't even pretend to care when it comes to the ring. Uh, I have seen so many pictures of him with an umbrella living ready to get wet. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not... It's not funny, but when you look at the way the woman treat herself as well, let people treat her like that. <clears throat> How could you feel sorry? Okay, all for sure. Well done. Okay, she called him H and he calls her M. For that alone, they should be canceled gross. <laughs> all right, congratulations. That's this. All right. Uh, so, effort accurate. Next tweet. Now, this is about Harry. I was coming across a lot of tweets regarding Harry. Okay, there was an energy about her, wild, joy, and fulfill and playfulness, confident and free. Yeah, that's him who sang it and uh, <clears throat> I remember hearing him on the spare audio. Yep, just having time of their life. Look at Harry. Uh uh uh. Okay, Harry was, was shocked and delighted. She is no diva. Only bare essentials, short rip jeans, and snack and yoga mat. Alright, there's this. L'amour, that's in French. There's this. The heart. Look at this one here. Here, our favorite happily married couple. When, I, when I'm looking at their wedding pictures, you know, I keep on looking in the background. When you look, th I think this is uh, Nacho's wife. Okay, these are people who knew the craziness that was going behind the scene and to see them finally made it and i think they were relieved for them happy for them they made it because the force that was preventing them from uh, getting this far you could see in their faces look at them yep harry definitely uh 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 it's like yes we made it so much that went behind the scene we had no clue until they start talking about it. okay so these are um extra all right below it megan was always that girl with leadership material her ability enables her to always and effortlessly hold center stage okay so there they are they're having some sort of a meeting there's this two weeks ago we were blessed by a golden dress and a proud husband i'm still snowing yeah uh, I think some of my tweets, videos that's coming out are still about um, the chase. Um, they're still coming out now. Okay, so there's this, Harry and Megan. Uh, let's go to the next one here. I think this one is about Harry. Okay, let's pause. Um, quote, there's also a lot of people who refuse to accept that I will be happy out here because of what I've left behind. The reality is that I've never been happier, Prince Harry. <laughs> this is the thing. When somebody grew up in something, people outside of that particular sphere will think something completely different. But Harry grew up in it. He knows the pain and suffering and everything. And then... Um, now he step outside of it he finds something completely different and uh he's happy about it all right now his kids are being raised outside of that institution and you know just be themselves all right so let's listen 21 second you will be seeing screenshot okay also a lot of people who refuse to accept that i could be happy out here because of what i've left behind There's a music in the background, so I most likely will mute the part or put a, you know, a weird music and uh, replace it. Uh, so the squad were putting all sort of things about Harry and Megan. Okay, there's a loving eye, wonderful edit, great. Then stop talking about your past and enjoy your future okay he can do whatever he wants that's what we call freedom sweetheart what you're going to do about it but yet these people why are they even there you it's like they <laughs> I, I i don't understand 
you could be saying something that I do not like. If I go in your space and you're talking, I cannot go in your space to tell you to be quiet. Okay? The same way anybody come around my videos uh, to say, stop talking about this. Why did you click? You have the option of not clicking. This kind of thing. Why? If you were not paying attention to Harry, you won't even know this video existed. Okay? Not my video. This one. The TikTok video or whatever that interview that he was doing. And the thing is that he was promoting his book. Since he finished promoting the book, the book is out, you know, break records or whatever. I don't hear him talking about it. Okay? So, he had to promote the book so people know about it. So people to buy it. I don't hear him talking about himself anymore. So if he has another book that's coming out, he's going to be doing the same thing. Promote the book and things like that. So this one is a perfect response for it. Freedom. All right, there's this. Okay, I understand money cannot buy happiness. Having a family of one's own, especially a beautiful wife, and uh, and to... And, and two to die for adorable kids that is a life only love can bring there's a heart heart okay happiness look good on harry okay there you have it he is happy is this a new interview yeah that was during um when he was promoting his book all right let's go to the next tweet okay that's harry again oh so this is another person who's uh tweeted that okay when the tides were rough they squeezed each other tighter. Nothing can break us, they say. A love one, they won. Others are just scrapping the barrel because they failed to break them. Okay. You know what really holding them together? It's, I always go to that same idea. It might be much more, obviously. It will be much more. It's when nobody knew they were dating. Only their circle of friends, close friends, who probably knew about them, seeing each other they were setting the foundation they got to know each other without any outside influence the tabloid you see the minute they uh, the tabloid knew they were dating you see her things spin out of control okay try to get people to lie about her to deceive harry for harry not to marry her and stuff like that okay so i think in one instances harry said because things were coming out of the tabloid and he had to go to her and to confirm if what he's reading was right. Okay? So they try to uh, manipulate, you know, the noise for Harry to have a different idea of her. But what really glued them together, it's when no one knew they were dating. They set their foundation. Um, and I think what really set the foundation is the trip. Okay? Megan went to meet with him in uh, Africa. What was it? Was it Botswana or something like that? Okay. They got to know each other, the things that they're doing and things like that. There was, there could have been so much that they could have done without worrying about the fear that, uh, you know, their safety and all of that. If the institution had backed them up. But, eh, they show themselves. They know who their enemies are. So they just, I, I guess we have to say thank you for them to show themselves. Okay. We can, it, it has to be a blessing in disguise as well. Okay. But, um, God is good. There was one, uh, prayer that I came across and I posted on my community board. And I think that was the first time I've done this, um, uh, particular tweet, um, that I follow Twitter that I follow who usually put prayers out there, but this is the first time I share it's tweet where he said something i'm paraphrasing god makes no mistakes uh it's something like that like it's a blessing in this guy it didn't say it like that but the interpretation of it okay uh that's the hug of two people who had been looking for each other for a long long time and finally actually found each other and they're not letting it go all of this yeah i think it's the the headache that they were going through behind the scene uh, the headache that we are now aware of, the nonsense that they were putting them to. I mean, most of the squad knew, but until you hear it from them, it's like, oh my goodness, how did they get through it? Okay, this is what bliss really looked like. There's a heart. 
there's this I love wins always love when yes love always when so there's more okay there are friends there is family and then there are friends that become family yep <laughs> that little girl okay um prince harry this this is other tweets that um that below it prince harry wishes on principle to wreak as much reputational damage as possible the money obviously doesn't matter as much as the mission phone hacking has just fallen out of the public eyes and prince harry has brought it back to the fore okay when did that when did they tweet that five hours ago let me bookmark this that's an archive okay prince harry takes on the fleet street over phone hacking okay the court dismissed you grant's hacking part of his lawsuit oh i wasn't aware of that when okay but the part um the other part of his lawsuit go ahead there's a hearing on harry's case on the agreement with the palace not to so that he is relying on phone hacking it seems the law tends to be the side of the press <laughs> damn i haven't come well i didn't really was on twitter yesterday his pockets are deep enough along with you grant and sir elton john to pursue it to the court i hope they win a resounding victory such as the next labor government implement section 40 of the crime and court acts and go ahead with levison too this is what i was saying at the beginning if i had come across this i would have put it right next to the other one and i said the phone hacking case have to come first where levison too will be more in people's eyes i don't know the, the way that i see the palace is because heavy have so much dirt on them that uh um how would i say that that they uh they probably will try to do something in the background to prevent him from go go ahead that's okay let's see here the thing with these articles is that they talk about phone hacking but uh what has been done is so much more than that very few articles those they are focused only on phone not medical hacking tracking financial hacking harassment stalking and family and friends and bugging you okay i understand this but people need to understand whatever you say in court you need to have proof okay proof of it but if they don't have proof of all of these that we are somewhat aware that the tabloid have done but if them who's calling the tabloid to court don't have proof okay they're trapping themselves so they probably don't have proof of these things all the list that was mentioned in this particular tweet all right so if someone have proof of it they will bring it up but they don't have proof they can't say things that they cannot back up okay there's this burn it down harry men on a mission go prince harry go uh, one thing I was thinking as well, if they toss out uh, Harry's case, one thing that they could do, all right, the others that are allowed to go forward, they could call Harry as a witness. That's the only way I could see it. If, for instance, the judge toss out Harry's case because of the agreement the palace had or whatever, and what is it? They said the brother took money, his part of the money, but Harry didn't get his part. Okay, and I think that's where um, that might go uh bed for the palace because they took the money but heavy didn't get anything and heavy refused to take money as well okay so if this was said or this way how come heavy didn't get his money because he's part of the power um he's part of the uh the deal that uh uh you know it's like a whole package kind of thing so and i think heavy could easily well it's the power that those people have over there to influence certain decision so it's hard to come with this but if the court okay without any outside influence okay to dictate how the judge come with his decision there is no way the judge will toss harry's case there is no way okay but uh you have to put that pinch of salt where outside influence and pressure and all of that so this is what really scare me a little bit for harry okay but if the judge does toss uh, harry's case in a way you could say all right the ones that the judge allowed to go forward when push come to shove harry could now become a witness 
okay the others could call harry as a witness to certain things that the other ones have uh trying to prove to the court all right so that's the only way harry could turn this around and then let's say if the other ones don't win guess what it has nothing to do with harry then okay harry doesn't have to pay the legal fees for the other one because the judge have tossed out his part so he's not he's no longer part okay if okay i'm just saying if i'm not a lawyer okay please do not take this as any advice i'm just thinking all right if the judge were to toss out harry's part of the case the phone hacking case which will pretty much end his you know if he doesn't uh, challenge it but this will sort of end his uh, pursuit to get justice okay so he's no longer part of the lawsuit now if the judge allowed the others okay because there's several other people who's suing as well so if harry part is tossed out harry is not no longer part of that lawsuit only the others okay that the judge allowed to go forward so once the trial come now what the lawyers of the other one could do is call harry as a witness do you understand what i mean and then harry could show his proof as part of the witness now whether or not the others win their case or lose their case whatever it may be it will have nothing to do with harry anymore okay harry doesn't have to pay anybody's um how do you call this uh, lawyer's fee none of that because the judge had tossed out his part that's it and then when you uh in court you could call anybody okay you could call anybody as uh, your witness to show your point of view so you could win the the case so harry could be a witness that's the only way i could turn this around all right let's go to the next one all right uh it's funny i didn't i did i bookmark this yeah i need to look into it because uh, i haven't really go over um the lawsuit thing okay ignore the noise the british press know that separately harry and megan are fire together they are fire now they're just trying to justify why all their predictions were wrong and why team sussex will stay together okay i don't know what they're saying in, in the background i don't follow the haters so kate and william are having serious marital issues harry and megan is just to move attention from the real problem anytime they start any negative on harry and megan no they have the problem with them exactly the world is on them <laughs> they've done that thing so much the world have uh got their uh, their blueprint we understand their blueprint that's why they're having issues they they don't know any other way around because they've been doing this for decades centuries okay for centuries now they just hit a brick wall because every time they throw their nonsense and it comes to the squad the squad just shredded apart okay boom they're still trying to get folks to look at harry and megan and not at the real issue skull and bones okay don't forget the british media are masters of deflection yep that's the thing here okay all you have to do is replace the name and their divorce articles they can't really write about the two who are having marital troubles so they are using sussexes who are happily married to cover for harry's brother and co-worker <laughs> they call the other one co-worker all right 100 percent this okay but for real harry and megan together is mind-blowing too much talent Coop and one body there's this if i wasn't a squatty i would be jealous and mad and swimming rubbish thread too i mean why do you have to do that the other uh when i went to do my hair once i was talking to my hairdresser some of the thing that she's telling me that other women's be doing i'm like my goodness you you watch movies and uh you see these things in movies but in actual life for women to be going out of, the, out of their way to be doing stupid things like that be out of jealousy i don't understand okay what work are they doing besides faking car chases and receiving useless award okay if you think that award is useless so stay away from them just stay away from them let them do that thing people who see their quality their values will still be giving them award what was it i think there was a time there something happened either harry received something well, i don't remember if harry received a award then the other one gave himself one of the the thing he's president of he gave himself a award 
they're getting desperate yeah all right like this one why are you even here uh right, to even say this nonsense people are letting them know we appreciate your work that's what some awards are are for letting people know we see what you're doing we appreciate what you're doing so you deserve an award for that all right if it was the other one who received the award oh my god you will never stop hearing about it Okay, I could watch this forever. A rare kind of connection makes me happy watching the way they're so in tune with each other. Video. Okay, it's 13 seconds. That's it. That's when they were at the UN. I think Harry was gonna do his speech. Uh, yeah, that suit really fits him well. It's like really cover his body very well. Okay, people criticize Megan for holding his hand, but she knows he gets anxious. Okay, caressing his wife. It's second nature to him. I love the tenderness. Yep. Uh, right. I mean, if nobody was there, the hand would go further someplace else. <laughs> Let me stop. All right. The hands always reaching for each other. So cute. There's a laugh. Is this the man who's staying at hotel alone, contacting divorce attorney? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that was that stupid boomer they were throwing out there. Um. Uh, yes. The knee hold that many derangers try to say. Megan forced him to put his hand there and then held his arm so he couldn't escape. <laughs> oh my god. Shock hour. <laughs> this is why I don't follow those derangers. You read too many stupid things. Time. Oh my goodness. Don't want to waste my time on these people. Uh, that man don't play when it comes to his wife. He immediately goes into protective mode. Anyone that phone upon this type of love is because they've never experienced it in their lives to see it for what it is. Okay, this is really awesome. Love, cute couple. Okay, love language. There's a loving eyes. Okay, next tweet. There's more comment, but it's probably repeating the same thing. Next tweet. All right, so there's this here. Oh my God, I saw this, I just had to share. I'm not even gonna click or share this link. This is what they're lying about now on Chucky's behalf. He is trying to set himself as a victim. Please let him, the perpetrator of an offense, cannot be the victim. Prince Archie has reportedly began asking about his grandfather. Good to. All uh, right, who's good to? Good to that come. All uh, right, that's the first time I'm seeing this particular thing here. Oh my God, these people are ridiculous. If I was him, Charles that is, just stay out because right now there's other things in the news. So just stay in the background because anything that come uh, about you, you know people start talking about Diana. So you don't hear much about what's the other one, uh, uh, the three and the marriage one that much. She knows how to play the game. You don't hear much about her at all, at all. She's in the background just enjoying the position that she's at. This is like one of the smartest one over there. And that's why she's manipulating everybody. I'm probably gonna make this into two videos because I still have more. Okay, while a bunch of lies, reportedly inside sources, who are the insiders in Montecito? Doria, Megan, Harry, or Lily? Please stop believing that planted story. Also, who told them Megan won't come back in the UK? Pre Harry, she used to. British media badly want what the kids picks. That's it. Uh, PR. Okay. Prince Harry have serious regret. There's the laugh here. Okay. No one with common sense believe anything that comes from the British media. Okay. The desperation to have access to the Sussexes is off the chart. There's that. They are going to burst a vessel in a minute. There's the laugh. Okay. You can't ask for a grandfather you don't know or remember. That's it. They don't know him. Children gravitate toward the people they see on a regular basis and those that have an impact. He hasn't care to do either. Well said. As far as I'm concerned to Charles, the Sussexes no, don't exist to him. Okay. He only used them to make himself look good. That's it. But other than that, they don't exist to him. Well said. Uh, I hope they say. He's the man that took your security and made us feel unsafe, sweetheart. So we had to move to mommy's world for protection of Uncle Tyler, who just offered us security and a home for as long as we needed. No question asked. Yeah, that's all they need to tell them. Okay, I hope he does too. And what's funnier is this unknown publication supposedly has sources. These folks, British royal family, are some serious desperados. Uh, why the dumb article asking why he's an a-hole <laughs> who tried to kill his family yeah you took his security away and your son i i don't freaking understand this your son 
your son oh my goodness take his security away all right so now this is uh uh paul bowell okay this is his problem heavy called him the butler and he called heavy petulant we know who the petulant one okay the butler that's the laugh okay so this is from spare i was really upset really upset by the fact that he referred to me as the butler mommy's butler well mommy's butler was called paul heavy you knew me all your life you've known me as paul he had never known me as the butler so why suddenly has there been a chef only recently a chef to being called the butler suddenly i'm sort of being dismissed by this pertinent prince as irrelevant because he says my tell-all book told nothing <laughs> well that i think my comment is there so harry made sure because you know how easy they will want to sue him he then the people he wants to mention their names he mentioned their name okay so all other people he did not mention their name so he just outed himself that's all okay um similar to the one uh, behind the pub thing same thing yeah we don't even know if that was her okay i don't know who needs to hear this but this man paul bowell has no connection relationship or access to prince harry and megan nor anyone closely associated with the couple his knowledge of harry sees with the death of the of diana paul is grifting opportunist who lies to be heard i mean you know the palace probably behind him because i think there was some issues you, you know what let me not even go there Okay, he was the butler, nothing pertinent about using his job title. Okay, Harry's just letting him know they were not friends. The problem is the butler thought he was royal too. <laughs> I love that. His book will never catch spare and sales. Okay, how many has he written? Collectively, he will never get Harry's first day sale. Another wannabe who forget he really is no one. Okay, he's just uh, the higher help, a servant. Okay, dude is offended by his own job description. <laughs> there's the lab. Oh, there's my comment here. Okay, well, he can't sue Harry for naming him in his book. That's for sure. Thousands of butlers out there. Perhaps Princess Diana had two or three butlers. He outed himself, not Harry, for the record. All right, let's see his one comment. But the truth hurts less. I don't understand. I don't know. Okay, it's been enlightening to watch these reporters and professionals' leeches meltdown and reaction to Prince Harry's disdain for them. I mean, why should they be surprised? Harry been saying that way before Meghan came into the picture. Okay, they've been lying about and using Prince Harry and his mother for decades. They have abused and lied about his wife, but are hurt to find out he hates them. Okay, that's because he, the prince, saw as you really were the butler. Be glad he saw you at all. <laughs> that's a good one. They forget they were servant. Even Victoria Arbiter thinks she is something for being a servant child. <laughs> I mean, he, she messed up big time. Me big time. And the squad ran with it. And the only job that could get her, um, who had got her out of that, butler mentality was working with cnn but she went and do that freaking nonsense that the uk been doing uh lying and uh they put her on full blast okay talking about something you didn't even see and then uh there yeah, she lost that uh international uh, thing working with cnn this servant forget their title and sometimes think they are royal too look at angela kelly she mistreated Megan because she thought uh, she was a princess of tiaras. Well, she was quickly reminded when Charles took power and has now been shipped to Lord knows where. I think they gave her another house or something. I think I put a, a screenshot of her on my community board. K. Bowell was criticized for copying Diana's letter and uh, his integrity was called into question. The coroner, Lord Justice Scott Baker, said, quote, in the end, there is an important issue as to credibility of the witness, one of three. All right, what else did they say here? Okay, Prince William and Harry accused Burrell of betraying their mother's confidences. In a joint statement before publication, they called the book a cold and overt betrayal, something mommy, uh, was it mommy's butler neglect to mention while criticizing Harry. Kerry Bohel has been routinely mentioned in relation to Diana. At times, uh, the coverage has been adverse. For example, in 2002, K 
case where he was charged with theft related to Diana's possession. I think that was the thing that I was talking about. But, uh, yeah. But the thing is that th that story he brought up regarding the ring, okay, where he said uh, uh, when Diana died and he told the boys to come and get something of Diana's or something like that, Harry took the ring and Diana, uh, I'm saying Diana, William took a watch or something like that. And then uh, when the other one is getting married and Harry offered the ring, it was full BS. Uh, and I bought it, okay? Uh, I'm ashamed. Yes, I bought it. Until Harry said it wasn't his to give anyway. And that just crushed everything. The guy been uh, saying for a decade. I don't know how long ago he said it. It will have to be a little bit after uh, William's marriage. Next tweet. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this man, Paul Burrell, has no connection, relationship, or access to Prince Harry and Meghan, nor anyone closely associated with the couple. This knowledge of Harry sees with the death of Diana. Paul is a grifting opportunist who lies to be heard. Okay, is that, did I, is that the same thing? Let's see here. No, that's not the same thing. Let me read some of the comment and then move on. Okay, what is this fool saying now? I thought that he was concentrating on his prostate cancer. Uh, he is perpetuating the lies that Harry wants to divorce Megan. What? Uh, yeah, definitely. They probably, yeah, I think I know what happened. If this is what he's uh, saying out there, he need money. That's all. He need money probably for his cancer. In my humble opinion. They probably telling him to say this on the record and get paid. That's it okay you will think his focus will be on his cancer diagnosis but alas not uh then he also said he needed to talk to the boys but we found out he did that after the funeral okay does he actually have cancer okay vulture yep uh he will grief until buried irrelevant but money hungry that's what i think too okay he became exactly the media abuser diana hated uh, he enjoyed being her spokesperson after her death, but he doesn't wonder what she will say about him. Uh, the dead cannot talk. Yep, he turned into the very thing that made Diana life hell. Okay, uh, absolutely shame of a man. Okay, he's shameless, vile. Okay, then the queen also get him off on some theft charges after Diana died. Then he got some sort of a sweetheart deal with the son. He's been tying the party line really well since that went down yeah they probably uh he probably make a deal with them all uh, right so the law so they don't charge him he sold he sold that's it next tweet okay there's that white breed seem ignorant of the fact that megan marco's paralegal character on the show suit is in fact a biracial black woman half white and half black her racial identity is even part of a plot line and later season audience gets to meet her parents black dad white mom okay so there's that <laughs> okay i think a lot of white brits never watched it okay missing the point uh wendell pierce is her dad i really need to commit to watch this okay yep uh why is a character she plays important suit wasn't a big thing a large majority of brit had no idea who she was until she hooked up with uh, harry well he, she had a life okay that thing th people think I, this is short minded thing okay I'm not in that level in any sort of things but people think you have to be blockbuster like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or uh, what's the other one Tom Cruise to actually make a living and, and to be an actor and whatever right? but they don't know smaller roles also pay the bills as well okay even though suit was a big thing for some people William knew about it he used to watch it with Kate that's what I've heard I don't know if it's true but that's what I've heard he knew of Megan before Harry Harry didn't know uh, Megan until you know they met and all of that that's because the thing is that <laughs> sidetrack a little bit um, is that Harry was so busy doing so many other things he didn't have time to watch TV so the other one is so freaking lazy so he had time to watch TV so he knew about so if you think it that way but the thing is that um uh those smaller roles make different appearances that's money money in the bank and the other thing is that there's residual 
after you appear in a show let's say the show play over late night or some other countries you make some you know money off, off of that as well all right um someone then white suit her mother was black i'm pretty sure no wrong all right she's not a biracial black woman same as she's not biracial white woman she's biracial jesus <laughs> wept okay jesus what on earth <laughs> let me leave that alone let's go to the next one if you see what's on the screen that's it let's go to the next one uh and i put oh my god sad okay so i'm winding down a little bit here cloud is killing this generation okay footage shows cameron robin 18 who jumped off a cruise ship in the bahamas as a dare on wednesday oh my god 5 24 23 he has still not been found and the search has been suspended uh, i'm not gonna go into the comment i just want to share that video with you this is so freaking sad and that remind me of that youtuber um he he's paralyzed now and i think he's married um where he jumped off something and then he's been paralyzed ever since oh my goodness let's listen 21 seconds this kid fucking jumped up! Oh my fucking god! Oh! Oh, bye bye! Oh shit! That's shit! Hey, grab the boo! Hey, the boo is! Yo, this kid's, this kid's fucking off, bro! This kid fucking jumped up! He jumped off and they can't find him anymore. Well, I mean, then he think, I think I respond, or maybe uh, that's my comment here all right then he thought about how he was going to get back on the ship before he jumped i guess not said either way crazy all right so that's it i don't want to go to all of the comments i'm already past an hour okay what else do i have for you here i put lol okay never f with black women we don't play all right 36 seconds listen But my God, someone walking with that un that pen I almost said underwear. He's seeing all her butt cheeks and everything. But anyway. Oh. You guys just threw this at me? Oh. One of you guys just threw this at me? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, why did you just throw something? Yo, he's just a mannequin. He's just a mannequin. Oh, my God. Well, the mannequin <laughs> here was... Your heart rate mannequin. <laughs> but the thing is, this one and the dark uh, outfit, he did pretty well. It was after he moved, uh, I realized he was uh, real. You see how he t she touched him and he moved? That was pretty good. Did you guys just threw this at me? <laughs> you see, oh, now shit. he moved. I didn't oh, know you. Yo, he just look at it. Look at this. When when she touched him, right here. You see how his body moved? That was pretty good. You guys just threw this at me. Oh. you guys just threw this at me? Oh shit. Oh, why <laughs> Yo, he's just a mannequin. He's, he's just, just a mannequin. mannequin. A mannequin who threw something at her and got the, the same result back. All right, so that's that. I don't want to go to the comment. Now, this is my last one. Okay, there's the... Oh. Okay. New per ad deadline. Twitter is worth just one third of its value now compared to when Elon Musk purchased the platform, according to a new disclosure by Fidelity. Wow, the value of it went down. Mm -mm -mm. How much did he pay for it? Oh my goodness. People are just laughing. Uh uh uh. Alright, so that's it. Let's do a prayer that's all that was the tweet regarding uh twitter um prayer for what should we pray for let the blind see i haven't done much um okay um, let's put light shines on 
Okay. On darkness. Okay. Father, God, in Jesus' name, this very day, shine light into the darkness in my life. Seek out all the dark places, even the ones I don't know about, and shine your light into them this very hour. Okay. So let's pick an image, whatever's there. Okay. Uh, prayer point. Let your light shine upon my life. Uh, whoa, it's very blurry. Let your light shine in me. Let your light shine through me. Let your light shine on my blind spot. Definitely. Let your light shine on anything covering my light, not allowing it to shine. Okay, so that's that. It's hard to read, but I was able to make sense of it. All right, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right, so that is it. This video might have two parts to it because I'm an hour and 20 minutes. I might break it into two. <laughs>